here I will show you how to use gills for pet. Um, these are quite rare in the schools. If your school is lucky enough to have them, these are a fantastic um, resource to use. So the first thing you need to be aware of is this number of the end here. And that will tell you what accuracy or how amount, uh, the amount that you can use pet for pet for. So this is a P10, so we can use this for one microliter up to 10 microliters. Then we have a P2. You can use this for one or two microliters only. If you try and do 2.5 or 3 microliters with this, you are going to break the pet and it's not going to be accurate. Next one, or well the, the P10. Um, P10s uh, we've already seen, you can get P20s as well, but I don't have one here. Here we have a P100, you can use that from 10 up to 100 microliters. And so what you want to use is the smallest possible Gilson available. Then we have a P200, you can see this one's quite a lot older. You would use that for volumes between 100 and 200 microliters. Then we have a P1000, that is for things um, from 200 up to 1000 microliters, so that's really well. Cool. And then we have a P5000, that's for things from um, 1 mil, 1000 microliters up to 5000 microliters. So that's the first thing you need to know. The second thing are these tips. These are the tips that we have. Um, and then we have some 1000 tips here. If I just get them out to show you. We can see that these tips um, don't have anything in them, whereas these ones um, should have a little filter in them, just there, but they don't. So the way that you add a um, tip onto a Gilson is you need to pick the correct um, Gilson for the tip. So you see these ones are actually colour coded. Um, the yellow P100 and then you can see on the front it will say from 1 to 200 microliters. So you need to hold the gills in steady and just add the tip on there with a nice firm movement like that. Now to get the tip off is this bit here. That's the bit that you need to press to get the tip off. So you press it and I'll just show you what happens again. Press it, this bit will come down and the tip will pop off like that. Now some schools um, like you to use tips because they don't have very many of them. Some schools are fine with you just um, throwing tips away. Now the volume that you want to measure will say on here. So this is a P100 and the volume here is the dial here is set to 100. That is mean it's going to measure 100 microliters. You can change it by twirling this around or by twirling this bit around up here. So, um, if we watch this, as I change it around, you can see the numbers go down. So if I set it to 91, that is 91 microliters. If I set it to 70, that is 70 microliters. It's a bit different on the smaller ones. You can see they have this red number at the bottom. So this is currently set to 10, that is 10 microliters exactly. If I change it to that, that is 9.6 microliters. You can see this is getting quite um, specific here, very, very accurate. Now it's slightly different on the big ones because this is a P1000, uh, if I just show you that. But it says 100 on here. That doesn't actually mean it's measuring 100 microliters. It means it's measuring 1,000 microliters. So if I just change that so it's smaller. If I change it to 90, that is actually measuring 900 microliters. And that is measuring 870 microliters. You can't do halves on this. The smallest you can do is 10. Don't ever try and set it to there and think you're going to get an accurate reading. You won't. That is not accurate. So now I'm going to show you how we actually use Gilson's. Here I have some beakers of water, so I've got my P1000. I'm just going to pop a tip on the end there. And the really important thing about this is your positioning of the Gilson. So to suck the material up into a Gilson, you'll find there's actually a two-stop mechanism on here. This first um, action is quite easy and then when you get to the stop 
it's much harder to push it down the second. Once you play with Gilson, it is quite noticeable to see the two stop. So, first of all, I need to depress my Gilson to the first stop, put the tip into the water, and slowly bring it up. I can then transfer it, holding it pretty much upright. If you try and tip it like this, you're going to um, be hitting water going up into the base of the gilson and I've had to take mini gilson apart and clean it and it's not a fun job. And then you uh, depress the tip and on some of them you'll notice it retains a bit of water in there and that's what the second stop is for, for getting that bit of water out. So I'll just show you that from this end. You need to press it to the first stop, slowly release it so you're sucking up the water. When you've got it full of water, transfer it, slowly depress it, and then do the second stop. stop. If you have it in here and you quickly release it, chances are you're going to get bubbles or not an accurate volume. So you can see that um, just at the end here, there's a little line, and this bit here hasn't been filled up with water. That's because I released it too quickly, and I've not got an accurate volume in, um, my, in my tip. So I'll just show you with the P200, or P100. So again, what I need to do is to slowly press the tip to the first um, stop it to the one stop and then to the second stop so suck it up and then I'm going to get rid of the water there and you'll see here there is a little bit of water left in this bit here that is what the second stop is for so if I push it to the second stop you'll see that drop of water comes out Gilson's a great bit of equipment if you have them but not a lot of schools do